I'm Joe Cuenca with Family Resources. Today we're going to be talking about how to throw a life preserver to a friendship. Specifically, how to save a friendship. Friendships are living, breathing things. They need nurturing, they need care, they need assistance. Friendships are also a two-way street. It requires an individual to give, to receive, and this is a relationship that goes on for mutual benefit. So, so what happens if we have to save a friendship? Well, in order to save it, you really need to understand what's taken place to drive a wedge into the relationship. It requires communication. It requires sitting down with your friend and saying, what happened here? Uh, what did I do? What did I do that was offensive? Or was there perhaps a situation that needs to be resolved? Uh, there can be some relationships go through some rocky times. There can be some challenges. But in the end, if there's a true friendship there, it will survive. So. You need to be prepared to apologize, perhaps come to terms, and work through whatever issues there have been. It, re it will require rebuilding, re-engaging whatever it was that started your friendship. So, so be patient and work through it. Pay attention to it, work on it, and treat it with the appropriate respect because a friendship is something to be valued. If, if you have several friendships that are true friendships that last over a lifetime, you really should consider yourself very fortunate. There's a saying, you can, you, you can pick your friends but not your family, but if you have a friendship, you should treat that with gold. Your friends and you have something, you've, you've made an investment in something important, and it's important that you, you continue to build that and recognize that. All relationships will have bumps in time and in life, but friendships will sustain over time. And that's how we repair a friendship. I'm Joe Cuenco with Family Resources, Relationships for Life.